Like when he was teaching, I was only four years old. Only four. You see that? This guy, he has done and he's doing a great job in this country that most of the people did not do it. And they are taking credit for that. Chad is one of the one of the beautiful country that I'm part of. I had chances to stay in America, but I decided to come back to Chad. It's not because I really want to show that I went to America, that I'm here, but actually with what you guys are doing you are presenting the chadian not just one person but the chadians out to the people just show to the world that chadians are not just known with war or anything but you are giving them those chances to really uh, tell to the world that we are here we are existing we're just like you guys we are not that violent we are not those guys who are not you know uh considered with what you guys are doing i think um i can i cannot speak to myself but the whole world are witnessing that Chadian are talented. And the objective you guys have is a noble objective that is going to lift up the country. So we are all going to be behind you. I may God protect every one of us. So, and I went to learn English to prove to my parents that I can speak English. I can, I'm intelligent. So I went to learn English and I learned English in three months. I, and I sat down and I was just like, wait a minute. If I learn English in three months, that means I can teach people to speak the language in three months. Hi everyone, today is a beautiful day and here you are at Chad English Show. We Let's welcome together Mr. Ahmed. Hi sir, how are you doing? I'm doing good. All right, self-introduction and then Sarah will go with the first question. Okay, uh, assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Ahmed, Ahmed Borgutu. I'm a teacher. I've uh, been teaching English for over 20 years in Chad and I love my job. I love it. I, I don't know if I can say more, but this is what I can say. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just want to say that thank you for accepting the invitation and thank you for being here. We just want to tell you that, you know, English is not something that we got it like for the past one decade. Like people, this guy is one of the initiator of English teaching in Chad. Actually, he was shaping and molding young people across this country for the past 20 years. You understand? Like when he was teaching, I was only four years old. Only four. You see that? So that's an amazing thing and we are grateful towards that. So uh, the first question is going to be like, um, w what is the difference between your generation and our generation in terms of learning English? Wow, that's a very beautiful question. Uh, my generation. Well, I remember when I was uh, learning how to speak English, uh, we were not a lot of people. You know, English was very limited. Even uh, the native speakers were very limited. And Chad was not exposed to the uh, English language. Uh, thanks to the oil in 2003, uh, English started to really be, really be demanded by the community. So, well, my generation, we were, I think we were just like, we were just like, I don't know how to say, I, I just can't count the numbers. We're not many people who are speaking English, but today, uh, I think Chad, no, to my understanding, Chad has more than 3,000 people speaking English right now, right. and I think it will be the second language in coming years. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm going with this one. Teaching is a passion for you. So how did that start? And from where you come from this passion teaching? Because you know around this city that the best teacher ever, one of the best teacher in English. So teaching, how did that start from you? Well, uh, thank you again for this beautiful question. So, and I went to learn English to prove to my my parents that I can speak English I can I'm intelligent so I went to learn English and I learned English out in three months I, and I sat down and I was just like wait a minute if I learn English in three months that means I can teach people to speak the language in three months so I made it a goal that I could teach English in two months not three and I started with uh, adults just like like game and then I realized that adults are very difficult to teach then I went back to little children so I create we created a program called English speaking for kids and this is how passion started. Thank you. That's a, that was a very great way of recapping your English journey. Now, Mr. Ahmed, I got another question, all right? This question says, like, we are living in a society where young people do procrastinate and they want shortcut and everything. So we got this question so many times in our page. Like, what is the fastest way to learn English? What is the easiest way to learn English? Do you think that there is a faster way or easiest way to learn this language? You know, for me, English is just like any other languages okay and uh, for anything you want to do in life you have to have faith in yourself and then you have to put all your emotions and everything into what you really want to do that's what I did and I started learning English with 
like three three to four words a day and i learned i i, I saw one of your video you you talked about you know learning vocabularies you know you need to learn the you have to have words in your head and i started you know putting all the vocabularies together and learning two three four five words a day and by the time i realized five two three months after i had so many words in mind that you know just like speaking english i didn't know that i was you know i was sometimes when i say something i just like, how did i get that word yeah you know but i put everything learning words after words how to pronounce it how to use it in a sentence every day writing histories or stories in the paper rewriting it coming back and read read the story in front of other people try to be corrected accept the corrections and then go show it to the other people that's how i realized that i could speak english in just three months uh, like why do we need english in chat and do you think that this language can help this generation to achieve a lot of things that they couldn't achieve besides you know they're learning french and arabic well we need english not just in chat everywhere in the world everywhere you go you will always have people speaking english even in france you find people speaking french in english so why do we need it here in chad the world is just like a small village right now it's easier to move from chad to another country through internet it's easier to really develop your skills um get educated through internet and english is one of the language that it's it's uh where you can get very good education through uh, all the books are written in english uh, all almost everything is in english so uh we need english in chat because it will help us to really open our eyes to the world and then we're going to be uh, the citizen of the world we're not just going to be the citizen of chat you know we really need it and i know chadians are, are very intelligent very very intelligent if they are given chances they will even even do i don't know what to say but as a teacher i can tell you that we have very talented people in chat very very talented people in chat So uh, yeah on that note like if we do have those people why don't we don't see them on the light what what, what is the very thing that is stopping them from moving to the light and universalize themselves as well as the other countries why well um to answer why it's very difficult but i can say today you guys with what you guys are doing you are presenting the chadian right. not just one person but the chadians out to the people to show to the world that chadians are not just known with war or anything but you are giving them those chances to really uh, tell to the world that we are here we are existing we're just like you guys we are not that violent we are not those guys who are not you know uh, considered with what you guys are doing i think um i can i cannot speak to myself but the whole world are witnessing that chadians are talented you and i are chadians exactly. we are speaking in english we supposed to be speaking arabic but as we are speaking in english the whole world can understand exactly what we want to say and this is what we need but if you have to speak in arabic or speak in french it's going to be limited to a very small number of people but today uh with what you guys are doing friends can understand even french people can understand exactly because they speak english american people uh people from south africa australia all over the world and we are chadian you know we are just like small just like one tiny bit among the other chadians but because of these chances other people also can be able to show themselves All right, Mr. Ahmed, I met you twice from now, and the twice time that I met you, you came out with, this, with some speeches that touched me a lot, your stories. Uh, but now I just want to ask you, what are the achievements that you you were fighting for English since a while? It's very, uh, it was very long time. It's been a very long time that you guys fighting to bring English into another level to this country. So, what are the achievements that you could reach? Uh, Um, I mean, established by English, and what are those achievements that you want to uh, achieve them in the future? Well, um, it is not just my achievement; it's the achievement of many of us. Um, today in Chad, we can see so many people speaking English. So many people, young boys, 
elder, you know, elders, even old people. Um, I can tell you right now, I have taught people today English and they're working in the United Nations. Right now, I, you know, people are just like, how come you're so young to, to have done that? Yes, because of the methodology we use. Even elders come and ask, how can you guys help? And what can we do? Right now in Jumena, we have so many people speaking English, even though some other people are taking, you know, the, uh, the granted for, 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 for that. But uh, Alhamdulillah, so many people are speaking English today. And I think I will not speak to myself for myself, but you can see it yourself. Yeah, numbers cannot lie. Yeah. Like that quote. Yeah. Yeah, you numbers could. cannot lie. Exactly. So that, that's a great thing. So now uh, you've been known by encouraging people around this country, and you've been doing great job. Like personally, nobody helped you to. to recently, you you established a program that gathered all the English clubs around Jemena, and they pass into a competition, and it's an a spelling competition, and it was really great. Uh, I was there for the you know the next. Well, two or number three that was number three I was there and it was really great and they were fighting in the point that they get the same result even though the judges they tried not to have two winners but it was two winners and it was really hard and tough and bad enough I said in that video as well so are you willing to have those kind of competitions soon and what are the things that you are lacking and and how are your visions about this matter of competition and showing the talent of Chadian people to the external world? Yeah, the question is, am I, am I ready to do that again? Again, yeah. Of course. Um, of course, we really need want to do that. And thanks to you guys, uh, people have seen it on, on Facebook last time. And I got people that contacted me on how can we help so that we can have another competition. Uh, we said, yes, we will be able to sit down and see how we can make it happen. Uh, the thing is just we, with the, with the coronavirus thing, we're just like kind of waiting a little bit, but it's gonna happen soon. And uh, I think it will be more than that one again, more, more than the other one, because students are really, 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 really uh working hard right. to show to the world that uh we are existing uh, we are part of the world too that that is actually very beautiful and we're happy to hear that from you uh we have a lot of questions and we if we're still discussing we'll be having a lot of questions for you and as well you will be sh have some other points that you want to share with us so on that note i just want you to send us a last word a last message or a legacy that you want to leave behind for the new generation so do you have any message toward this Chadian community? Well, there are a lot of messages. Uh, Chadians, uh, Chad is one of the, one of the beautiful country that I'm part of. I had chances to stay in America, but I decided to come back to Chad. It's not because um, I really want to show that I went to America, that I'm here, but actually, there are so many things here in Chad that we Chadians, if you sit down and really sit down together and start thinking about how we can really work and make our country great, like other continents, like other countries actually, uh, it's possible. We have talented people, young boys, young girls who are really working hard, who are ready to really lift up the country, but still, we just like lose faith that we are capable of so many things. My word to every Chadian who is watching or anyone in the world who is watching, be proud of yourself and know that you can do anything you want because the sky is the limit. That's my That's, yeah, that's, sky is the limit. I like it. that's, that's so amazing, man. I, I don't want to stop that but you know at certain time we have to stop it so thank you very much for really making this channel shining and by your presence and thank you for blessing us with those wisdom and with those blessing guidance and direction and 
I just want to say that, you know, we invite people in and before they leave, we give them one minute to say any beautiful thing to our channel, to the work that we are doing and if there is any directions and corrections that we have to do in order to go forward. So the mic is yours. Well, thank you again. Uh, today I am, I, am, I am not just here in Chad, but I'm, I'm everywhere in the world. Thanks to you guys. Today, many people in the world will know me. Thanks to you guys. I will, ne I will never stop saying thank you because uh, I was hidden. No, many people do not know me outside of Chad. And thanks to the last video you guys posted, um, I am known outside of Chad. I just want to say, Keep on doing the good job. So many people will try to discourage you, but I want you to know that no one has the right to stop anyone as long as you're doing something that is gonna help the community. You guys helping the community. May God be with you guys. May he protect you in every single step you guys are taking. Do not be afraid. You'll get what you want. And the objective you guys have is a noble objective that is going to lift up the country. So we are all going to be behind you. And may God protect every one of us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you and may God accidentally and abundantly bless you and protect you like he ever has as well. And guys, uh, this guy is, as he said, he has been in the dark. It doesn't, it doesn't, we are living in a society where People are really impacting people in the darkness and people who do believe in the, what they see. But this guy, he has done and he's doing a great job in this country that most of the people did not do it. And they are taking credit for that. But anyhow, just like, you know, keep praying for him and we pray for him to do the great job and may God excellently and abundantly give him the time and the age to, to do his mission because this is what Mahatma Gandhi was talking about. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of the others. Thank you very much. This is Chad English Show. And keep following us on Facebook and precisely on YouTube on the name of Chad English Show. Ladies and gentlemen, we love you so much. Until the next time, stay legendary. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Very much. you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.